Hey everyone, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be playing the five minute blitz on lead chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always and we'll make sure that we analyze the game at the end of the match as well so that we understand the computer lines in between that how it went and what could have been better at that point of time. Before we start off with the game, I would request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily. So yeah, let's start off with the game. Got the black pieces here. I'll play c6, d5 to the Karo Khan defense. Oh, he aborted the match. I think he oh, didn't want to lose out on his rating over there. So that's why. Again, we've got the black pieces. We'll play c6, d5. If he takes, which he does, we'll take back. And now we can develop the dark square, light square bishop first on the f5. Probably now the knight defending the pawn as well. We'll just try to play. Um, okay. Pawn to e6, strengthening the center. We'll offer him knight if he wants to take. If he doesn't, then also fine. We can just play rook to c8. Defense the knight. Just in case he wants to capture, we can take back with the pawn after he takes, and then there's nothing much he could do from there. And just play the pawn forward. Another one, maybe. He takes. I have to take another option here. He's probably thinking to take with the knight here. Yep. So that he can pin my but he can't pin it because i have a queen check coming check and he loses the bishop don't be too greedy in the beginning a lesson i think i can take on the pawn straight ahead So let's just get back. Um, let's exchange the queens if he wants to. Let's see. Because I'm peace up. Uh, if I take two, if I would have taken the pawn, probably he can bring the rook there, then create some trouble. Okay, he's still willing to create some troubles. Family Queen is going to give a check next. I think I can just bring the bishop, defends everything. Or I should just give a check first. I can give a check. Let's give a check. And then I'll take on the bishop, defend the queen to be it as well, and he resigns. Yeah, pretty simple there. As I said, don't be greedy in the games early on. I quickly analyzed, though there was nothing much there. e4, c6. Knight f3, d5, going for the center slowly, the Karakhan defense. He takes on the pawn, so we take back. He plays d4, attacking the center right away. We develop the bishop to f5 first. He plays knight to c3 here. And I develop knight to f6. He brings the bishop. And I just play e6 here. He tries to give a check. And I play knight to c6, he brings the other knight to take advantage over here uh, on c6. I bring on the rook on c8, and then he plays a passive move, I would say h3. And I just try to kick away the bishop. He goes back. I just keep pushing my pawns forward. Here he took on the knight, I took back with the rook. And here he tries to be, I would say, a bit more greedy. 
and trying to pin my rook uh, after I take. So I take, he takes back and pins the rook, but he missed out that the queen is going to a5 with a check. He has to defend the check and lose the bishop. And he plays a4 here. Okay, why I didn't capture here, I had some thought that what if he brings the rook in between. Oh, the bishop was guarding it. Okay, that was fine. But uh, as I was saying, I don't need to be greedy. I will just play on the par. So I offered him queen exchange, which he denies. And then I took my time because I was piece ahead, trying to find the best move in the situation. Because yes, his queen is eyeing to come down on b8 with a check. And once I start moving my king here and there, probably the bishop can also post some kind of a threat maybe in the future. So I didn't want to get any pressure there. So I just give him a check. He saves the king and loses the bishop. And now his queen can also not come on uh, b8 because it's guarded with the queen's reverse diagonal. So saving up everything. And if he j even pins the queen next, I can just bring back the queen and just probably defend off everything. So there's no attack going on. I'm a couple of pieces ahead and there's no way I can lose from here. So yeah, a very quick short game and yep, it went very well. I hope you liked the video and please do let me know your feedback. Share, your, uh, share the video with your friends and do comment. Keep watching the videos and subscribe to my channel. Press on the bell icon and stay tuned. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.